Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today we're going to be talking about the delay of Stalker 2, and what it means for the games in its genre moving forward through 2022. So let's jump right into it. So GNC Game Studios put out this post earlier this week, stating that Stalker is going to be delayed well past its originally expected release date, in April of 2022. Now it will be releasing on December 8th. They explain the reasoning for this is that they wanted more time to develop and playtest the game. Now just as usual, I'm pretty much always in favor of delaying games that the developers don't see as ready. I would pretty much always rather have a complete and fully functioning product at launch and not feel cheated out of my money. The Stalker series especially is pretty infamous for their bugs, and I'm sure there will be a pretty big difference in how much can be fixed with this delay. It still sucks to be somewhat deceived or to have a product pushed back, especially when it's delayed over 8 months, but I'm pretty confident it will be worth it in the long run for GNC Games and Stalker. So now, with that out of the way, I want to talk about what will likely happen as a result to some other games with overlapping players in the genre. Many may choose to invest more time into them and in turn make them more successful. One of these two games that I'm going to talk about isn't technically a game itself. It's the Stalker Anomaly mod community. And with the release of Stalker 2, I believe there's going to be a pretty drastic fall off in players for this middle point between older and modernized Stalker. Even without the extra mods, Anomaly is great on its own, and even the older games are fantastic and absolutely worth it to purchase and play through on your own. But the community for these games mods is still alive and incredibly active. Some of the best mods for guns, animations, sounds, and textures have all come within the last year, and as people's PCs are getting better, more and more are trying to push the X-Ray engine to its absolute limits. So, while I'm certainly not overjoyed about the delay, I think it will be very interesting and exciting to see how far people start pushing stalker anomalies in the next few months. Now this next game I'm going to talk about is certainly nowhere near as large as stalker, so its fanbase is relatively insignificant in the grand scheme of things. But I'm almost positive that most players on Chernobylite also play stalker, or at the very least follow it pretty closely. As of such, I could see more people going to Chernobylite within the next few months as they look at, to at least somewhat scratch that Chernobyl horror itch. Stalker's delay at the very least buys time for these devs to improve their marketing strategies and give multiple solid updates before inevitably losing a major portion of their player base to a giant in the industry. Generally, I don't think it's something to be too worked up about. I like Chernobylite, but it's a single player game only. So their revenue comes from mostly single players who buy the game for the story and a little bit of replayability. Stalker will absolutely take lots of players, but those are still players who would have bought the game to begin with. So there's not a huge loss for the company, although the game does risk falling into obscurity and completely out of the public eye. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.